हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एड सेक्रेड इंटरनेशनल आई एम अगेन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू विद न्यू वीडियो अबाउट द डॉक्यूमेंट चेक लिस्ट दैट यू नीड टू टेक विद योर सेल्फ वेन यू आर गोइंग फॉर द वीजा इंटरव्यू सो लेट्स डो नॉट वेस्ट द टाइम एंड लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद द वीडियो इफ यू वॉन्ट स्टे अपडेटेड विद द इमिग्रेशन अपडेट्स डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड लाइक दिस वीडियो सो दैट यू डोंट मिस एनी ऑफ द इमिग्रेशन अपडेट्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो so there are total 7 documents that you need to take with yourself when you are going for the visa interview make sure you watch till end so that you don't miss any of the uh, document so that you don't uh, have to face any trouble on the date of your interview okay so make sure you watch till end so the first very important document is your ds160 form यू माइट नो इट या फिर देर आर सम न्यू स्टूडेंट्स जो इसके बारे में नहीं पता है डी एस वन सिक्सटी फॉर्म और डी एस वन सिक्सटी कन्फर्मेशन पेज आपको वहाँ पर लेके जाना है दैट कन्फर्मेशन पेज इंक्लूड अ कन्फर्मेशन नंबर दैट स्टार्ट विद डबल ए ओके सो मेक श्योर कि आप जब भी लेके जाओ तो अपनी चेक लिस्ट में इसको जरूर एड ऑन करें इट इज़ वेरी कंपल्सरी डॉक्यूमेंट डेट यू नीड टू टेक एट द वीज़ा इंटरव्यू लोकेशन so the second thing is form i20 this i20 form is provided by your university or the institution where you are going to study whenever you receive your i20 make sure you match all the things in the i20 with your passport like your name your date of birth your course starting date whatever i20 you have got make sure it is signed by a designated officer of the uh, of the college or the university that you are going to study so the third thing is a photograph a photograph if you have uploaded in the ds160 sometimes there occur an error because of which the upload cannot be completed so make sure you take another photograph with yourself which is uh, created according to the dimensions provided by the us embassy it is generally about uh, 2 by 2 inches before taking the picture make sure that uh, the dimension is matching with the photograph dimension provided by the us embassy and the next document is very important that is your passport the passport must have the expiry date of at least 6 months beyond the course of your study like if you are going for a 2 year course your passport uh, should have at least 2 and a half half year of expiry date remaining in your passport so the next document is receipt of fee payment it uh, you should take two receipt of payments first is your embassy fee or the mrv mrv fees and second is your service fee make sure you take the receipt of both payments service and mrv fees or it is also known as embassy fee another document that you need to take on your visa interview location that is your academic records uh, by your academic records i mean the transcripts the diploma certificates your certificate or the degree certificate that whatever you have studied in your previous time you need to take it with yourself so the last document that is very necessary while you are giving the visa interview is the proof of funds the proof of funds i mean wherever you are showing your funds whether uh, you are your parents are sponsoring you whether you are getting a scholarship whether you are providing your funds in your bank you need to take the latest document related to your funds it can be a balance certificate from the bank or anything it should be updated and you need to uh, make sure that it is not very old Okay so this was all about this video I hope you like this video and if you like this video do hit the like button and if you are new to this channel just hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell icon as well apart from it uh, if you want any help regarding the slot booking for all the visa categories you can uh, contact me on the whatsapp number mentioned here and apart from it if you need any specific uh, video on any specific topic you can comment uh, under this video I will try to make a video about it Thank you for watching this video stay fit and stay healthy